Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Cadet Colonel Justin Gilbert from Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the Battalion Commander of the 129th Corps of Cadets, and I have been attending St. John's for seven years. We're so proud of Justin, I tell you, it's just, it's unbelievable what he's done in seven years to come to this school and go through all he did and become the colonel and the battalion commander. We're so proud. When Justin first came, he was a sixth grader, so he was uh, very small. And he was just a very normal, quiet, pretty quiet young man. He just kind of blended in and he was never really any trouble. I met Jasmine when he first came and he was involved with the percussion at St. John's and he was a little bit apprehensive about you know participating in performances. He was a little bit shy when he was small and so I had the privilege of helping coaxing him along to perform with us and one time we were in the gym and we were like 30 seconds away from the performance and he got these big funny looking eyes and he started to look at me and say, I, I can't do this, I, I, I'm going to leave ma'am. And I said, no, Justin, calm down, you'll do fine. And he stayed and he did a great job. So that was a great memory when he was just a little guy. I was his wrestling coach his first year, we tried to get him to come out for wrestling. Got him to come out and the funny thing is our first meet here, I'll never forget this, he goes, Gunny, I'm not going out there. I said, yes you are. No, I'm not going out there. He's dressed and he's in singlet. He walks up to the mat, refuses to go out there, turns around and walks off. That was one of my first experiences with Gibby. It was amazing. When he was a middle schooler, uh, I was having a really bad day. I was walking across campus um, and I tend to wear my emotions on my sleeve and he looked at my face and could tell I was having a bad day. And he came over to me and said, Major, you look like you could use a hug. And a little guy came over and gave me a big hug. And so I've never forgotten that. I met Justin when he was in the sixth grade. And I remember him as a little boy. And he had a lot of energy and a little ornery. And, but a lovely, lovely kid. He was always fun to be around. He had a great sense of humor. Um, he loved people, uh, but he loved to get into things. So I, did, I had some very fond memories of him when he was younger. Two of my friends lived in one of the three-man rooms upstairs in Bravo, and I, I would always go up there to hang out with them. We had this great idea of uh, building a campfire on our floor. <laughs> he and some of his uh, fellow new boys and middle schoolers thought it would be a good idea to take the bug spray that we were selling at that time in the quartermaster store and uh, they all kind of gathered around it and sat in the room and uh, lit the bug spray on fire. They had a little flame about this big, a little campfire in their room. Uh, when I walked by the uh, room, it was uh, rather startling, but uh, Justin is the reason we don't sell bug spray in our quartermaster store any longer. When I met uh, Justin, for the first time it was in this gym, I had him in class. And the class of kids that I had that year it made me make decisions that I didn't want to be a teacher. Those guys were, they were some of the most rambunctious little kids. And as the years went by, things have changed, as you can see. Um, they've grown up to be nice gentlemen. Uh, you know, I, I will tell you, out of my 30 years, I didn't think that um, that group would do the things that they have done. Uh, four and a half years ago, Justin was uh, over in Bravo Company, was having a hard time of adjusting. He had been here about two and a half years prior, I believe, and they felt that he needed a little bit more maturity, maturity so they decided to move him to my company, which is a high school company. Uh, at that time, I met the Gilbert family, and uh, Justin came in, and it was pretty quick that we, uh, I guess kind of say bonded, and he settled down and started to kind of turn around and go the right direction. I met Justin when he came to school, and at some point uh, it became clear that whoever his St. John's parent was, was not being able to fit him into their schedule. And so I um, asked to have him for my St. John's son. By eighth grade when I got him, he actually looked like he was 16. He's always looked older. Um, he has an air of maturity about him. 
Um, and of course, uh, watching him get to this point this year um, where he is the commander of the school, um, it's been quite a, quite a growth for him. I came to the school as a sixth grader, 200 pounds. Uh, by the time my junior year came around, uh, I weighed 285 pounds. I realized that if I was, if I kept going on the path that I was going, you know, there'd be some really bad health problems later on in life. And I knew I had to do something about it, but I, I, I had no idea what to do. During the summer, he started um, going to a gym at his home in Las Vegas, and he started a weight loss program. Uh, by the time he came back to school, he had lost, I think, 80 pounds at that point. Um, so we set up a um, healthy eating program for him. Um, it's been interesting to watch the other cadets um, it, all want to do that with him. They wanted to have what the battalion commander had. He has a lot of influence, and I don't think sometimes he realizes how much influence he has over others. Order! Arm! Hand! Hand! Word! Arm! I saw Justin for the first time this summer after, after a year or two. It, it, the change was amazing. He, not only had he lost weight, but he had matured in such a significant way. Um, and he had become so dedicated and committed uh, to personal behavior, personal development. In the last year or so, he's lost over 100 pounds, uh, put on all this muscle, uh, changed his diet, changed his exercise habits, um, and with that, I think, came some self-confidence that he didn't have before then, and that has helped him a great deal uh, in his leadership role as the battalion commander. When he got here, he was my little short, chunky kid, you know, and just to watch him grow and, and the dedication he puts in uh, to health and fitness, I mean, he's an amazing young man. Um, Justin has grown from a little boy in, in, into a man. I mean, we've, we've watched it before our, our own eyes. Um, but not just physically, he, he's, be, he's become very focused, very disciplined. Justin was much heavier um, even a year ago than he is now, and he became very focused on goals to become healthy, become fit. Um, and what, what he's done, the transformation physically has been, been incredible, but he's also applied that same focus to being successful in the classroom and being successful of the, as a leader. Jake Whitting, one of my best friends, helped me and mentored me throughout the whole year. He took an hour out of his day every day to teach me how to be a successful BC. Uh, Jake was not only one of my best friends, but he was also a mentor to many and he was my brother, and I can't thank him enough for what he's done. Well, it's been like a normal um, St. John's mom experience with him um, until last spring there was a, an accident here uh, right after graduation where we lost several um, of our cadets, and they were close to him. And at that point in time, I chose to um, get in touch with him over the summer and support him because I knew things were going to be hard for him and that it was going to be particularly challenging trying to come back and be the battalion commander.
The loss of those three boys was very difficult for all of us. And I'll be honest, at the end of Justin's junior year, um, when he was named battalion commander for this school year, I didn't have strong feelings in any way about the kind of job that he would do. And not because I didn't like him or didn't think that he had the ability, I just wasn't sure what would happen. But the transformation that I started seeing actually was, was um, about at the time of the funerals for those boys. And so I started to really believe over the summer that he may really have what it takes to, to do well, and he absolutely has. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, A.J. Ricketts, old boy, 2017, Nigeria, May 10th, 2016. John Yoder, old boy, 2017, Denver, Colorado, May 10th, 2016. Jake Whitting, old boy, 2016, Glenhead, New York, May 10th, 2016. I will never be able to thank the school enough for what they've done for me. Uh, St. John's has given me multiple opportunities and this school has taught me discipline, respect, integrity, and honor. And I can't thank St. John's enough for teaching me those characteristics. Read him forever! Watching a young man who was, you know, into hip hop and sagging his pants and hat backwards to the clean cut, oh. lost 120 pounds, really caring about himself. I mean, that is a story that could be told forever. Um, you know, those are the ones that, you know, I, I wish I had that drive when I was that age. I never thought, I mean, I still can't believe that he accomplished this. I mean, he was a good kid, bouncing all around, real hyper, energetic. And to see this amazing accomplishment is, I still can't believe it. It's just wonderful. And I know he'll do good in his future. He will. We have seen Justin grow up 
and I just can't believe him today. It's just wonderful. We're so proud of Justin. It's a, it's a marvelous thing that he's done here, and it's our first trip to uh, St. John's, and we are really impressed with the school and with what he has accomplished here. We'll know he'll just, just do great in life. Well, Justin has always been, um, uh, he's meant a lot to me because I've watched him grow. And I've watched many cadets in 33 years that didn't take opportunity, and Justin always did, so I appreciated that. We are just so proud of him. We've watched him, his career grow, and, you know, I've always said to Justin, God had a plan for him, and, uh, and I believed it was in leadership somewhere, and as you can see, he's exceeded my expectations. The type of leadership that he's shown to the young men in this Corps really is second to none. He's made an impact on the young men here that will last for cores to come um, because he's really set the standard and, and other guys will want to be like him. Fall out, fall in company formations on the tier drop. Fall out. He's definitely met the challenge of being a BC here at St. John's. He's one of the best we've ever had. To be honest, he's been the best battalion commander that I've seen in my 11 years here. Um, he's just been outstanding in every way. It's by far one of the best staffs I've ever had the opportunity to work with, and it's because of Justin and who he is and what he expected from his cadets. All the 20 years that I've been here, his corps has been one of the best corps of cadets at the school. Uh, maturity level and is, is great. He has shown a lot of compassion with people. He listens, he makes sound decisions, and he has grown up to be a very good young man. I believe that Justin probably is one of the best battalion commanders this school has had in recent times. And the reason he is, he's got certain personal qualities that he developed which are so admirable. Uh, number one, he has no ego. That is a characteristic that's true of any good leader. Secondly, he's got a great deal of compassion. He cares about other people. And thirdly, I watched this year time and time again. His objective was always for what's in the best interest of the core mm -hmm. and the people. And many times he would forget his own selfish motivations, his own selfish needs, in order to do the right thing for the core. Hey. Hey. 
Kalin in Troll. Hey, hey. Mom, Dad, will you please stand up? Thank you so much for sending me to St. John's and even though I didn't want to be here sometimes and I would call home begging you to send, uh, to take me home, um, I'm, I'm glad you didn't and I'm glad that you made me stu uh, stick it out. Um, I really, I really appreciate it everything you've done for me and I'll never fully be able to express my gratitude for what you've done and I love you guys so much and I really appreciate everything you've done for me. Thank you. Don and Susan have been um, a set of parents who were able to set aside their personal feelings and look at the future of their son, which is very difficult sometimes. They're just selfless people who thought more of him and his future uh, than of themselves. Um, they're just, they're wonderful people. His mom and dad have um, raised a very great young man. Um, I know he came here when he was young, but, uh, and I know that was very difficult for them, but they've done a really, really good job in raising him to be what he is becoming as a man. And I'm just very proud of him and very proud of them. His family, they're so close. His mom and dad are dear, dear friends, his grandma and grandpa. And they just always were so supportive of the faculty and staff at St. John's too, which is always so special. And I really want to thank them for all the support they gave me over all the years that Justin was here. I appreciate the confidence and faith that they put into us into helping them raise their son and educate their son. Um, they were always very supportive of the school um, and obviously supportive of Justin. And it takes all of us as a team, um, I think, to raise the boys well when the boys are here. And, and again, they were always very supportive. I love Justin's family. I know they love St. John's, and I hope they'll re they will remain um, a part of the St. John's family for a very, very long time. They're good people. One of the things that makes Justin is the stock that he comes from, because he's got parents that had the courage to say goodbye to a young man and know that they were doing the right thing, and someday it would pay, and today's payday. They have just done a fine job of raising Justin, and I hope that they will continue to give him independence and freedom to develop his own life, uh, because he is the type of individual that you can fully trust, and he should not be uh, controlled or overly protected, but give him the latitude to develop and seek his own life and his own successes. Scott Potter. 
Portland of Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's in there. The Justin Gilbert Division of Portland. Justin also has been at this school since the sixth grade. St. John's Military School Special Recognition for Leadership. As commander of the Cadet Corps at St. John's Military School, it is essential to always conduct yourself in a manner that reflects flavor favorably on your character, your moral values, and ethical behavior. In providing effective leadership, the commander must be a person that portrays a sincere feeling of empathy, compassion, and caring for those under him. The commander must always maintain an image that others wish to emulate and to choose to follow. The battalion commander of the 129th Corps of Cadets has met and exceeded these expectations, and therefore the Board of Trustees of St. John's Military School has unanimously approved the grant of the award of the Gordon Prize to Mr. Justin. Prize is. It's the highest award given to a cadet at St. John's Military School. His name will be etched in the marble at Veneer Academic Center, and it's not given very often. Congratulations. <laughs> BC, I wish you all the best. Um, I know you're going to NIMI and uh, you're going to try for West Point. Uh, it's going to be a rough road. I've told you that, um, but but you can do it. And uh, all that dedication you put into the, the workouts and your diet and everything, put that into your studies. Um, yes, it's a challenge, but it's worth it at the end. I would just like to say that we love him and we just wish him everything all the happiness that's around and I know that he'll succeed in whatever he does. He's like his mom and dad. He'll be very, very successful. They're great people and Justin's a great kid. Yes. He's the best. I just want to wish Justin the best of luck and um, to reach for whatever he wants to reach for and I know he'll succeed with his discipline. So Justin, we love you so much. We love you, Justin. Justin. We're so proud of you. And the whole family, we love you. Justin, we love you. And uh, sometime we'll play that old maid game again, like we did in Mexico. <laughs> and good luck. And we know that you're going to accomplish many more things. And we'll just be standing by to see all of these things happen. Can't put into words how proud of you, how proud of you. How, I'm, how proud of you I am. And um, it's, it's been a great run. And I look forward to uh, us crossing paths again in the future. I just want to say, I'm proud of you. It's been seven years. I'm going to miss you. You're going to do good things. Uh, West Point, I uh, love you, bro. See you later. I'd like to say to Justin, Dawn, and Susan, I treasure the memories of our friendship. And I'll always keep in touch. And I'll see you in Vegas. Um, I love Justin and I wish him the very best and hope that he will come back and visit us as often as he possibly can. I would like to congratulate him on graduating, on having 100% GPA this year. Um, he is absolutely the best and I, I love him. Justin, good luck in everything you do. You know, I'm always here for you, you got my number, give me a holler and I love you, take care of yourself. Just wish you the best of luck, Justin, and hope that uh, you and your family stay close and um, the world is yours. Go after it and, and stay strong. Think before you act. And remember, there's always consequences. Peace out. <laughs> my absolute highest respect for him and, and my strongest hope and prayer for his future success and happiness because he truly deserves it. Love him to death. I've loved that little kid till 
Dustin, keep doing what you're doing. You've made yes. us all proud. He's going to just be... And the state of Colorado knows exactly who you are. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the whole world is going to know. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Justin. Well, here we are the last weekend of St. John's after seven years. Son, you did a great job. You made your mother and I very, very proud. And in fact, you made everybody at the school proud. And you had some ideas we talked about last summer that you were going to implement. You implemented them and you proved yourself. And it just made me so proud of you and, and your mom also. And uh, we just want to say congratulations. Uh, we're looking forward to you moving on to MMI and uh, hopefully on to West Point in the future. And God bless and uh, I love you. We love you, sweetheart, and what you have achieved and what you have done here has been just amazing, and we couldn't be more proud, and we love you very, very much, and we're looking forward to your future, and it's going to be an amazing journey also. We love you, honey. Looking forward to doing the same thing uh, about five years from now at yes, West Point. Yes, we are at West Point. Another, another yes, great graduation. Are. Yeah, we're so <laughs> proud. We love you. Keep up the good work. <laughs> love you. So the command is prepared for inspection.
Alan Tintoy, F.I.K. Rob. Can't wait to get out of here. You've got to get your one last workout. Good for you. Have to.